Kubasa at 13, let's go over the optimal audio settings first and foremost. Studio, audio connections. Make sure you have your sound card output set up right. That's my interface right there. And I'm going to check the inputs. And there's no mono bus, so I'm going to add a new bus and make a mono bus. Two of them, as a matter of fact, and set them to my input one and two, because that's where I have my microphones connected. That's the bare essentials. Now I also want to double check the settings of my sound card, so I'm going to go to Studio. Studio Setup. This will look different for every interface, but what I want to make sure is that I have a nice buffer size that's extra compatible with Vogadine. In my case, I'll hit Control Panel and make sure I'm in between 128 and 512 samples, and I pick 128. Das ist gut, I click OK. Next, you want to make an audio track, and the audio track is where we're going to place Vocodyne on. So I'll make a mono input, stereo output, audio track. Also, I want to make sure that we're not recording both the microphones. I'm not going to use the stereo input. I'm going to use my right channel. So far, so good. I'm going to activate monitoring. Just make sure I'm getting some input from my microphone. Then hit the little E and add Vocodyne as an insert effect. You'll find it under Bless Beats. In my case, it's under Other because I'm experimenting with something. And already at this point, you could use it in the auto mode which I don't recommend because you can't get as detailed as with a MIDI keyboard, at least if you're going for the talk box sound. Just click keys to set the scale up and then activate auto mode. I do want to warn you there's a visual bug right now. If you activate monitoring or arm the MIDI track, you're going to get this weird looking visually like it's on full blast, but it's just a visual bug. I'm going to fix it as soon as possible. Every DAW has their own little quirks and I'm working hard to fix it as soon as possible. But on to the next step make another track and this time it's going to be a MIDI track. Select your MIDI controller and choose the Vocodyne as the MIDI output. And I'm going to show you again when this MIDI track is armed you get this visual bug again. It's nothing to worry about. The actual sound works as it should but this happens when you activate monitoring on the audio track or arm the MIDI track. To record both the audio and the MIDI at the same time arm both the tracks and activate the monitoring on the audio track so you can hear yourself. Check out the pro usage video for some tips. Now as you play it back, you can deactivate the arm on the MIDI track and the monitoring on the audio track. Do your tweaking in peace with the animations looking nicely like they should. I'll keep you posted by email about the update probably later this week. Have fun, okay, bye-bye.